in, in terms of quick tips, I realized something this week. You know, we had a conversation, John, about uh, starting from scratch with your M1 Max as opposed to Migration Assistant. And, and the reason for that, not that there's going to be a ton of problems, but there are things that Intel things that don't migrate over quite right, and you need to go in and find all of those. And I mentioned that I had done a lot of work to do that after I had done Migration Assistant. And so for the casual user, I would definitely recommend just starting from scratch so you're not even having to think about it. Well, even for me, and I thought I went through and did everything the other night, I had Chrome running on my M1 Air, and it had been doing its updates and keeping itself up to date and all of that. And I ran Activity Monitor, and I noticed that Chrome was running in Intel mode. I was like, I know it's updated a million times since then. Well... Chrome and Microsoft Edge have two different tracks of the app. There is the Intel app, and then there's the one they call the Apple Silicon app, which is really the universal app, so it would run on both. Uh, if you are going to run an, in, uh, an M1 Mac, you need to go and manually download the Apple Silicon versions of Chrome and or Edge, depending on which browsers you want to use, so that you have them. They, they aren't just pushing the universal out to the normal chain. But they have a fork thing. And so if you're running an Apple Silicon Mac, make sure that you are running the Apple Silicon versions of, uh, of, of especially those apps. The best way I have to check for it, it you can run things that will go and find all the Intel things on your, on your drive, and I'm sure those are fine. And I know those are fine, in fact. But if you, um, if you run Activity Monitor on an, in, on an Apple Silicon, on an M1 Mac, there is a uh, architecture column that you can put into place, and uh, and I sort by that, and then I can just see what's running Intel actively on my computer, and that's that's how I found it. Now.